Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Magnetic Obsession and I am here again in my new apartment unboxing a new smart doll. I hope that all of you have been doing well in these trying times. Um, hopefully you and your loved ones are staying as positive as you can. Um, it, it's, it's really difficult right now um, in the world and you have to find your happiness wherever and however you can get it as long as it's not going to be harmful to you. Anyway, today I'm going to be unboxing a new smart doll. I'm going to get right into it. Got my trusty knife here. I ordered this one directly from Danny this time and Culture Japan. So excited. It's been, a, it's been a year, over a year since I've ordered a smart doll directly from smart doll. So, let's get right into the box. All right. So, when you get a smart doll, the first thing you see is the Keep Calm and Carry a Smart Doll canvas bag. So, we're going to open this up. Slide that out the way. <laughs> and you have your bag here. <clears throat> the first thing you are greeted with are accessories. Let's take a look at them. <clears throat> so I didn't get anything other than the doll. Um, I don't expect there to be any surprises in here. <laughs> so we have the Coco wig. Gorgeous. So excited. You get one of the clickety click stands, I think, or I think this is just the new stand. Before they used to be flesh tone, um, but now they are different. I really like these stands. They're a lot of fun to use and they make your dolls have a lot more posability. And then you have your smart doll card here with some of the flavors and characters. You see that new pair body in the bottom left corner. So exciting. I can't wait to get one. And of course you have some care guidelines on the back. We all know of them, but feel free to pause and take a look. Take a look if you, uh, this is your first time looking at anything Smart Doll related. <clears throat> Gonna slide these goodies to the side and we are going to unbox the gorgeous doll. So, as you see here, I ordered Destiny Smile in the tea flavor. Let's slide her on out. <clears throat> you get your doll in the bubble wrap. Such a nice presentation. You see them leaning on their knee or kneeling on their knees there um, to help make it a nice, soft, easy journey for them. DHL, make sure that they get home rather quickly. <laughs> Um, so the new dolls have the Evolve frame, and that allows the dolls to have even more posability, and you get this haptic feedback when you're moving the doll's joints. So, hear them for yourself. Oh, so satisfying. And the dolls, they feel so much more sturdy. It's so awesome. <laughs> Excellent. And there she is, Destiny and T, the alternate smile version. And she has freckles for the first time, which is really, really, really awesome. She is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so sorry that the lighting is so dark. Um, she is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so funny. I, when I first started collecting Smart Doll, I swore by the semi-real girls. And you know, it's funny, I still, of course I still love them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. But now I just have this huge love for the anime girls. She is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so sorry I'm not really getting a good view of her. I love her profile. Look at that. 
I love the freckles. She is so beautiful, and I love her aqua teal colored eyes. So gorgeous, and her little smile. It's like, it's like a, you know, I, I can take on the world kind of smile. Like you start to feel a little confident. You, you kind of like lie to yourself a little bit. <laughs> She's so pretty, and I love the little cyborg head cap. So much fun. I miss the flesh tone ones. This the flavors, um, head caps, especially if you want your doll to not have hair. Um, but this is the new generation of smart doll and I love it, I'm here for it. The new undie sets are a lot of fun too. The multicolor, you get your um, like bluish gray um, with the orange accents, so cute. I'm going to pause the video for a moment so I can get a look at her myself. I'm gonna get her dressed and I will be right back. Hi everyone, I am back. I just got Miss Destiny dressed and I have to say I am absolutely in love with this outfit. Forgive her, she doesn't have any shoes right now. Don't judge her. <laughs> She's a barefoot queen. But look at this, look at her wig. She is absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed. She is so beautiful. She's, these aqua eyes are absolutely everything. I love her face up, her little smile. Oh my God, so cute. I love the freckles. The wig, okay, let me tell you something about culture, Japan, and the wigs. I have had, in the years of being in this hobby, I've had alpaca wigs, angora wigs, mohair, so on and so forth. Culture Japan's wigs are gorgeous. They're the best wigs I have ever had. Um, and that's no shade to any of the creators out there. I think, you know, people make incredible things. And the reason why we have these hobbies um, are because of the many artists that contribute to this hobby with their beautiful talents. And, you know, but with saying that, I think that Culture Japan's wigs are something very special. They're so soft. I literally, to get her hair, or all of my doll's hair, um, beautiful. I use a dollar store comb, literally. And I just give their hair a little something, a little zhushing, and boom, it, they're ready to go. Um, the f the stray, the flyaways, you can just swipe those to the side with your little dollar store comb and you're good to go. Honestly, they're so perfect. And uh, they just, they're, they have like the sheen to them. Look at that, stunning, absolutely stunning. This is the cocoa color. I think that this is probably my favorite color. I think I've had one a little bit darker than this and I loved it. I love darker hair, um, browns and reds, um, but this color slays. So about her outfit, she's wearing a beautiful uh, ash blue tank top with the blue Culture Japan cardigan. So. Just an FYI, all the clothes are from Smart Doll, and no, I didn't buy them all at once. I'm not rich. Um, this is from <laughs> over a year of collecting, and my collection stalled for a long time. So um, when I first joined, I did accumulate a lot of things really fast, and guess what? Impulse um, equals you know decisions, hard decisions that you have to make later on in life. Um, like selling or whatever it may be. Um, but anyway, I don't have to go into all that. But yeah, she's wearing a Keep Calm and Carry a Smart Doll um, dog tag here. I love them. All of my dolls have one. If they don't have like another version of it, they have this for sure. Um, the ash blue tank top, which I love. All of my girls, for the most part, dress in tank tops. I love it. Then you have this beautiful gray cardigan, which I kind of have off the shoulder to give it more of a Southern Cali, walking on the beach at night, but it's 60 degrees kind of thing. And then you have your beautiful lavender skirt, which I'm obsessed with. I think this was a chaos skirt. 
if I'm not mistaken, um, but I could be wrong. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, I am really in love with this girl. I want more anime girls, guys. Ah, why do I do this to myself? Um, but she is so beautiful. I wish I had better lighting so you can really see how pretty she is. Let me see if I can get real close for y'all. I'm so sorry if it's a little shaky, but she's so pretty, look at her. And you guys are getting a little preview of my apartment. I just moved in here um, on September 13th. I'm absolutely in love with it. This is like a little preview. Um, nothing is packed away. You see my little Britney Spears um, Funko Pop, my Canon camera, a smart doll hat, some other stuff, a printer, boxes. <laughs> um, I love my apartment. I'm so obsessed with it. This is my first place on my own. I'm so proud that I was able to do this on my own. Um, honestly, no one helped me. I had a friend help me out with something else, but as far as moving in, I did everything on my own. Um, and I couldn't be more proud. You know, hard work does pay off. Um, you know, you just have to believe in yourself. Once you believe in yourself, you guys, the sky is the limit. Let me tell you, um, I was so hard on myself for so long, you know, not forgiving myself for past mistakes and, um, whatever it was and just having these regrets and those regrets and just not letting go prevented me from blossoming, you know, and, the the past few months like you know i was able to achieve a lot of amazing things this being the greatest blessing i could have ever received getting my own place um this this the peace of mind um that i have every single day when i come into my place i know that things things are exactly where i left them and no one's going to tell me x y and z and so on and so forth and I'm just fully responsible for it. And it feels so empowering. Um, it really, really does. Um, and, you know, that's not to say that I don't have things going on. Hey, we all have things going on. You know, I suffer from depression. I've suffered from depression since I was a teenager. Um, I probably will always. And that's something that I have to deal with. It's a disability. But I'm not allowing the depression to stop me from being an amazing person, an amazing human being and contributing to society and leaving a mark in this world. Um, because, you know, people aren't going to remember what you did. They're going to rem remember how you made them feel. And I lead by that every single day. Um, I really do. And I think it's so important that you try to maintain that positive outlook um, because Positivity, it does manifest, you know, amazing things. Um, so, you know, just definitely keep that in mind, you know, when things are hard. Um, I know I kind of went off topic a little bit, but, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with where I am right now. And I, and I, you know, I hope to one day get a nice, beautiful display case so I can display all my smart dolls. I'm actually trying to get some of my friends to come over soon so that they can see how tall smart dolls are in real life. Like, look at this. She is tall, honey. I think she is almost two feet tall, if not exactly two feet tall. And I love it. I think that the proportions are fantastic. Um, I have also, oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I almost made her fall. OMG, you guys saw that. That was a blooper. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I have some hands that I'm going to mess around with um, when I take some photos of Destiny. Um, you know me, I like to take my little portrait photos with my camera. I take a thousand photos until I find one that is perfect for me um, because I have really poor vision and it is so hard to look through the viewfinder thing um, on my camera because I don't have like the preview screen. Um, and maybe I do, I don't know how to use it, I don't know. Um, but yeah. 
Um, but I'm so happy with her, you guys. I am looking forward to acquiring more anime girls when I can. Um, I have a huge desire to get uh, fortitude, fortitude in anime. Um, I would love to get her in tea, but I'm also eyeing uh, cinnamon. There was one on Mercari last week and it sold for a really good price. I'm so envious of the buyer. Um, I really should have just pulled the trigger and got it. But I was being really frugal, rent was coming up and honestly, you cannot miss your rent. That is the most important thing. Make sure you have a roof over your head. Like, look at that, the roof is over my head. <laughs> um, but I'm so happy to be back here on YouTube and back on Instagram and on the Smart Doll groups on Facebook, um, talking to all of you and seeing all of your beautiful photos and hearing your wonderful stories. Um, it's very inspiring, you know, it, it definitely helps keep the hobby alive. Um, I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you so, so much for tuning into this unboxing. Um, I'm so happy to be back. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, just please, you know, let me know whether it be here on YouTube or Instagram. Um, I hope all of you stay safe and stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.